this is of bar magnet so how to find out the magnetic dipole moment of a given bar magnet can we take help of the earth's magnetic field the answer is yes here so let's assume that the bar magnet it is placed in a there's a north pole there's a south pole how do it will produce feel it will produce lines of force i think by this time everyone is having idea so this will be the and there's a rough diagram uh this will be the lines of force inside the bar magnet mean we need not to show it huh? inside the bar magnet you not to show it so there is a south pole north pole so th 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 this much is there now uh you superimpose on this the earth's magnetic field but earth magnetic field is will not be uh, everywhere will not be tangential to surface of the where it be tangential to surface surface of the earth at magnetic equator so let's talk about the only the horizontal component of the earth's magnetic field horizontal component means if i uh, take like this so at a point it will have two things so let's say b bar like this b vertical like this b horizontal or, or at some other point it it may like this no it it, it may be in this direction but all together what will happen the bh is what i'll i'll consider now where happen i'll i just place the bar magnet here i i think i'll i'll take it to this so here i place the bar magnet will i agree now uh, the, the, this the, this what happens here no now bh how it will be <coughs> towards left and the lines of force due to bar magnet it it will be like this i i'll show only few now how bh and b will be at any point if you want okay at this particular point you look at this one so how b bar due to bar magnet will be towards right and the bh will be towards left look look at this point this point is very important the b bar due to bar magnet in the in the plane of bar magnet where <coughs> the bar <coughs> magnet is lying in that plane there is a some point where the b bar due to bar magnet will be towards right her horizontal component will be towards left so shall i take up of this us horizontal component rather than total b b bar this will be much easier so now when i place such a bar magnet in earth magnetic field the resultant field surrounding a bar magnet will be like this and there are two points this is the null point and and this is also a null point these are the two null points which i obtained okay that cross mark i am putting there is a null point what do you mean null point the net field will be zero but sir like a, what about vertical component okay let it be i am not bothered i am interested only to get that bh null in the sense what happen the horizontal the resultant of b bar due to bar magnet and horizontal component what happen will be nullified here the vertical component let it be there so here due to vertical component of magnetic field will be into the plane and that we are not showing that one so bh do i do i know bh s by using vibration magnetometer so with that what happen i am able to predict the m bar of a bar magnet so now now if i show this is a this is for what this one so earth's magnetic field i'll i'll put a so the superposition of that is what i think the so what are this green color the green color 
arrows is BH. The red colors are the lines of force. Hertz magnetic field, Earth's magnetic field, I think I'll, I'll erase this part. Huh? I think it will confuse you. Mm, okay, that one. I think I, I, I'll, I uh, know. Oh, oh, so th this shall we call like this? This is the geomagnetic I'll, I'll give a name. So what is this? This end is geomagnetic south. Now for the earth, what will happen? <coughs> the lines of force will be from where? From the south pole towards the no geographic north. No, I think somewhere in the... I'll, I'll give one more diagram. Geographic north. Geomagnetic south. Okay, I think correct. Geographic north or geomagnetic north here. So geographic, geomagnetic south. I think, okay, fine. I think, yes. I'll, I'll just write here. Geomagnetic. Okay, I agree this. I, I think uh, geographic south or geomagnetic south. How the lines of force on the surface of the earth will be from the south pole towards the North Pole, that one. Or, or still, if you are having confusion, so if you take this, the Earth. This is a bar magnet. This is a geographic south, geographic north. How the lines of force, the lines of force Will, will come like this, no? Now what are green color lines? I, I'll show on one side. No problem. Yeah, well. Please, please do remember this diagram. This is something very important here. Okay, now, now, now how, how the lines of force it should be? Outside from north to south, inside will be south to north. So what is this? This will become geomagnetic. Though north pole is there, is it okay? Geomagnetic south and this is geomagnetic. This is geographic north. Okay, that green color lines is what? BH. So again, once again, what we should call this will be geographic south, GS, this will be GN. So how you have to place? You have to place an external, a bar magnet, such that its north pole should be towards the geographic north. And south pole should be towards geographic south. Then we'll get a point where the resultant field will be zero. This is a null point. Like that, we'll get a null point here. What happens at null point? Uh, okay, then we'll take the one more. This is I'll, I'll draw a line. Just all these are diagram based. Huh? If you have clarity of the diagram, you can manage. Okay, now shall I call this is X here? Black line is the resultant field, the resultant, this is the resultant field. This is the Earth's magnetic Earth. Earth's 
horizontal component okay fine what about red color red color is the field lines of bar magnet i think i i i'm i made all things clear so at this particular point what is the the magnetic field due to bar magnet will be in this direction call 1 this is 2 b1 b2 hertz so what is the field strength at point 192 net field will be zero okay due to bar magnet will write it what is the field strength net resultant field strength at point 1 will be zero okay b1 zero means how it is zero bh minus is zero so what is bh bh is known what is b bar so look at that point 1 shall i say it lies on the equatorial plane so mu not m b bar 4 pi x cube i'll i'll measure the distance so how do you come to know the field there zero i'll take another compass needle very tiny compass needle if they if it shows zero deflection then definitely open there the resultant field is zero so what is like a test charge how we say test charge <coughs> in electrostatic test charge in gravitation test mass similarly in magnetism what happen the compass needle will become like a test uh, like a test magnet in that one which will not produce its own field a very tiny compass needle very small i think in watches nowadays you might you might have seen no gyroscope they call that one to show the direction no? like that a very small compass needle that is nothing but will become a, a like a test magnet if it shows zero deflection uh, the i think uh, it will be there simple one arrow will be there the jet cube so if it just gets aligned along that vertical line and and so so the resultant field what pen should be it will not show any deflection then what you can say that definitely it should be zero that one like this a small tiny magnet i'll take help of so i think now we have e equation so what is the dipole moment of given bar magnet 4 pi bh x cube by mu not i can measure exactly x i know h how to find out bh by using vibration magnetometer at that given point and it will be uniform so suppose say you are doing in a uh, dd colony lab physics uh, <coughs> in physics lab in dd colony almost the total hyderabad you can almost say the bh will be same don't think that as you come outside the lab bh will be different almost at hyderabad what when the value of bh in a region of almost around you can say 50 to 100 km the value of bh will be same at a given point because earth surface is something radius is 6000 km look at the surface area of earth 4 pi into you go for 6400 km so in a region of even up to 50 to 100 km the value of bh will be same okay like this i am able to find out the dipole moment of bar magnet so what is the condition now how the bar magnet should be kept the bar the 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 north pole of the bar magnet is aligned in the direction along the geographic north this is something very important so what the strict condition the north pole bar magnet is aligned along is aligned along the geographic north okay th these are the diagrams huh? very important just to say some uh, condition you have to assume okay th these are the some ways they may test you like this also you have to be careful huh? yeah. what is, what is this dotted line this dotted line is surface of the earth hmm. yeah sir in that figure uh, the lines closer to the magnet should be from north to south no sir which diagram this one huh? in the printed field this one huh? yes sir cos closer to the magnet bh will be less than b no this is a resultant field huh? this 
as a resultant field if x is very less then b bar will be greater than b h s see as x x decreases b h will be magnetic field strength will be but not something very much huh? no, don't don't think in that way e h will be zero this will dominate so the resultant field okay the, the arrows like this you want to show it huh? yes sir Okay, I think some problem with the. Ah, uh, okay, okay, this one. Arrow should change direction. Yeah, yeah. In fact, yeah. Hmm. I'll, I'll do one thing. I'll, I'll make changes here. Hmm. Okay, okay. The, the, these arrows must be like this, huh? Somewhere it becomes zero. Then after that null point, it should be upward. Okay, no, I think everything. Uh, this will be <laughs> yeah. So here it should be towards it. So null point it will be zero. Okay, and some small correction is there. Just make it. I think the. Yeah, yeah, fine. Just notice that the arrows. What happened? The resultant field here should be in this direction. Should be in this direction. Here zero. Here the resultant field will be in this direction. That formula you have to remember. Huh? So, like this, we can find out the dipole moment of bar magnet. Okay, let's come for the next one. Now, now you see that one. The south pole of bar magnet is along the geographic north. So here, I think, will indicate the name. So this will be geomagnetic 